Hosa. My name is Jenna Bechtel. I go to Cedarville University and I'm your Ohio Hosa State President. I'm excited to welcome you to this year's SLC. We may not be together in person this year, but we're so thankful to have such great technology to allow us to still communicate with each other. Thank you to all members and advisors for being patient and understanding during this time. HOSA's theme this year is Towards Tomorrow, which is a great reminder for us as future health professionals to always look ahead and to not let any bumps in the road stop us. It's a great reminder to look towards the future with hope and excitement. Our futures and tomorrows await. We are excited for this year's virtual competitions and speakers. As a state officer this past year, I have not only gained leadership and grown, but I have witnessed all of you become stronger, passionate leaders. Members, thank you for making Ohio HOSA what it is today. I am so honored to be introducing a health professional that has shaped Ohio HOSA into what it is today as well. He works at Cincinnati Children's Hospital as the Vice President of Transplant Services and has been with HOSA for over 25 years and has even been a state officer. As a great honor to Ohio HOSA, he is this year's HOSA Board Chair. I am so excited to introduce a driven and dedicated health professional, Mr. Jason Huff. On behalf of National HOSA, the HOSA Inc. Board of Directors, Vivian Doe, National HOSA President, and her Executive Council, I want to congratulate you on successfully participating in Ohio HOSA's Virtual State Leadership Conference. Over the last few months, we have entered some of the most trying times here in our state, in our local communities, and our country globally, and it's HOSA members just like you and our local HOSA advisors that are able to think in, be able to think with service in mind, be able to think innovatively, and how we move forward through COVID-19. <clears throat> this has been a struggle that all of us has faced. It has forced many of us to think outside of the box, and that's why you know one of our core values for HOSA being innovative. Uh, that's that's where that comes into play. <clears throat> So I want to thank everyone who has uh, continued to participate. I want to congratulate the current uh, state officer team for an outstanding year and allowing me to be involved in the fall leadership conference. Uh, as everyone knows, I represent um, Ohio HOSA as chair for the Ohio HOSA 100 State Advisory Council, which serves as a pipeline for future health professionals, and it continues to be our go to reach out to local industries, to our hospital systems, uh, even to non-healthcare entities that want to be a part of our Ohio HOSA 100 State Advisory Council to help uh, increase scholarships, to help increase internships, and to ultimately uh, look at increasing funding for Ohio HOSA so we can continue to improve the opportunities that we provide. <clears throat> it's been an honor to represent Ohio HOSA as National HOSA Board Chair. I'm into my fourth month as Board Chair, and I can't thank Ohio HOSA enough for being supportive of me. Just a few reminders. I want to, uh, for those of you that are uh, winners today and will advance to the International Leadership Conference, which will be held virtually. And again, I go back to our core values here, our core values of learning, uh, which is seeking to learn from each other, leadership being accountable, trustworthy, empowering uh, stewardship uh, of the organization, keeping service in mind, and then being innovative. Those are all things that as HOSA members you use and also us adults that sit on the HOSA Inc. Board of Directors and the Executive Committee that have to make those very important decisions. It was not an easy decision to make about whether or not to move forward with this uh, virtual ILC, but it was the right thing to do for HOSA and it was the right thing to do for our members who have worked diligently and hard for this past year. So we are doing everything in our power to make this a success, successful experience for you. I do want to let you know 
if you leave here today and as a top three finisher uh, and choose and are able to attend the virtual and are able to participate in the virtual international leadership conference you will want to visit ilc.hosa.org you will simply then at that time uh, click on conference information and then if you will go down to registration that will take you to a direct link that will allow you to register automatically for the 43rd annual ILC which will be virtually cost of registration this year has been reduced to $40 we will uh, still be providing a comprehensive opening session uh, Barbara Pierce Bush will be our keynote speaker your executive their national executive council members will be there um, it will be very interactive um, and we, you will be able to participate in all of the competitive, uh, competitive events that has been offered in the past. Our workshops and educational opportunities will still be available. Our exhibitors will have a virtual, virtual exhibitor hall. And so we're really looking forward uh, to the opportunities. We, we actually are cutting nothing out from the International Leadership Conference. We're simply taking it to a virtual level, which we hope will be a model for other CTSOs as we move forward in the future, or if we shall ever uh, encounter anything uh, to the magnitude that we've countered over the last three months. Um, a couple of other things I want to remind you too on the uh, ilc.hosa.org page is the competitive events. If you click on event info, there have been modifications made to the, each of the competitive events and it's very easy to go in. There's a nice summary that's written for all the modifications related to the events and then there's modified rubrics for you to review as well. I would strongly encourage you uh, if you will be competing to uh, check out that information. One little thing I did leave out is we will be electing um, a new National Executive Council. So that will be going on. If you're a voting delegate for Ohio, you will be participating in the business meeting. Uh, it's my understanding that even if you're not a delegate, that you may be able to observe the business meeting as a spectator, uh, but we'll see how that looks moving, uh, how that looks as we get closer. Uh, with, with all of that said, uh, I, I want to thank you again for being loyal to Ohio HOSA. Thank, thank our local advisors who have uh, uh, stood with us uh, through these challenging times. I want to thank our state advisor, Jim Scott, who has uh, helped pilot and drive uh, Ohio HOSA uh, to the bright horizon and the future that it has ahead. And just keep in mind our core values as HOSA members, learning, leadership, service, and innovation. Thank you so much for your remarks, Mr. Huff. Ohio HOSA greatly appreciates the leadership that you provide to both National and Ohio HOSA. My name is Shelby Alderman, and I am one of your 2019-2020 Ohio HOSA State Vice Presidents. We would now like to begin our 2020 State Leadership Conference Award Session. We are so proud of all of our HOSA members that persisted and participated in our virtual State Leadership Conference this year. Your flexibility and understanding of this current situation shows that the future of global healthcare is safe in the hands of HOSA members. We are so excited to recognize all of our outstanding competitors who will have the opportunity to compete at the first ever 2020 Virtual International Leadership Conference. First, we would like to recognize each of our top three winners in health science events. In knowledge tests, behavioral health secondary. Third place, from Great Oaks, West Claremont, Abigail Anderen. In second place, from William Mason, Great Oaks, Catherine Zhang. And in first place, from William Mason, Great Oaks, Michelle Wang. The knowledge test behavioral health post-secondary in second place from the Ohio State University, Alexis Lamb. And in first place from the University of Cincinnati, Andrea Zepp. The knowledge test cultural diversities and disparities in healthcare in the secondary division. Third place from William Mason Great Oaks, Bamshadar Singhidi. In second place from Canal Winchester High School, Mariama Ba. And in first place from William Mason Great Oaks, Anaga Rao. 
knowledge tests of cultural diversities and disparities in healthcare, the post-secondary division, in second place from the University of Toledo, Maya Gern, and in first place from the University of Akron, Irina Nagurniak. In dental terminology, the secondary division, in third place from Cuyahoga Valley Career Center, Caitlin Dombrowski. In second place, from Pioneer Career and Technology Center, Mary Diaz. And in first place, the Warren County Career Center, Harley Budzak. In dental terminology, the post-secondary division. In second place, from the University of Cincinnati, Shivani Tamakatala. And in first place, from the University of Cincinnati, Adam Elzarka. In the Knowledge Test of Human Growth and Development, Secondary B Division. Third place from Medina County Career Center, Nancy Pathak. In second place from Northwestern High School, Sarah Roeder. And in first place from William Mason Great Oaks, is Sanjana Velu. In the Knowledge Test, Human Growth and Development, Post-Secondary Division. In second place from the University of Toledo, Samitha Dasari. And in first place, from the University of Cincinnati, Pallavi Katragata. In Math for Health Careers, in first place, from Maslin Junior High School, Autumn Johnson. College Test, Medical Law and Ethics, Secondary Division. In third place, from William Mason Great Oaks, Blake Wood. In second place, from William Mason Great Oaks, Vishva Bhatsar. And in first place, from William Mason Great Oaks, Raquel Ramirez. In Medical Law and Ethics, post-secondary division. In third place, from the University of Toledo, Calvin Sunny. In second place, from the University of Cincinnati, Cher Shaw. And in first place, from the University of Toledo, Aditya Akaria. In Medical Math, secondary division. In third place, from William Mason Great Oaks, Michelle Lee. In second place, from Dublin Jerome High School, Owen Gyal. And in first place, from Dublin Jerome High School, Denise Boja. In medical math, post-secondary division. In third place, from the University of Toledo, Jessica Kinehart. In second place, from the University of Toledo, Jeremy Matthews. And in first place from The Ohio State University, Cameron Kodik. In medical reading from the secondary division, in third place from Tolls Career and Technical Center, Carly Callahan. In second place from Penta Career Center, Cora Jess. And in first place from Harrison High School, Senior Great Oaks, Lindsay Green. Medical reading post-secondary, in second place, from the University of Akron, Nathan Stefan. And in first place, from the University of Akron, Joshua Stefan. In medical spelling, in third place, from Columbus Academy, Anna Chang. In second place, from Laurel Oaks, Mackenzie Kay. And in first place, from Ohio Hosa at-large chapter, is Lapika Narasetti. In Medical Terminology, Secondary Division. In third place, from Dublin Jerome High School, Kylie Monk. In second place, from William Mason Great Oaks, Siddharth Varman. And in first place, from Berea Mid Park High School, Polaris Career Center, Mia Ashram. Medical Terminology, Post-Secondary. In third place, from the University of Akron, Jacob Hesha. In second place, from the University of Cincinnati, Prasanthi Thoth. And in first place, from the University of Cincinnati, Lynn Abigail Tan. In Nutrition, Secondary Division. In third place, from Harrison High School Senior Great Oaks, Emily Forbeck. In second place, from Berea Mid Park High School Polaris Career Center, Dominique Salvo. And in first place, from William Mason Great Oaks, Ryan Abbott. 
in nutrition from the post-secondary division. In third place from the University of Cincinnati, Abara Hook. In second place from the University of Toledo, Mega Gern. And in first place from the University of Toledo, Drew Pariso. In pathophysiology, the secondary. In third place from Berea Mid Park High School Polaris Career Center, Kristen Sperber. In second place from Canal Winchester High School, Claire Hacker. And in first place from Dublin Jerome High School, Ruhi Sahu. In pathophysiology post-secondary division. In third place from The Ohio State University, Sanjan Vivekanadan. In second place from the University of Cincinnati, Sabarish Kirthavisan. And in first place from University of Toledo, Rupesh Bodapati. In pharmacology, the secondary division. In third place from Dublin Jerome High School, Kulami Ghosh. In second place from William Mason Great Oaks, Tourette Sangha. And in first place from William Mason Great Oaks, Revnit Sangha. Hello everyone, I'm Caitlin Woodruff, one of your Vice Presidents of Ohio Post of Future Health Professionals. I'm currently a senior at Miami Valley Career Technology Center, Partner School North Mount High School. HOSA has definitely changed my life tremendously and has provided me many opportunities, such as studying at Georgetown and Howard University through Leadership Initiatives Medical and Health Summit. I was able to work with one of the finest doctors from Nigeria, Dr. Aisha. Through this experience, I diagnosed a real-life patient with one of the top four leading diseases that they have in Nigeria. The patients are successfully treated with no cost due to the commitment of allowing future health care professionals like myself to diagnose them. Being a part of HOSA at my school has allowed me to utilize my leadership qualities and serve as state officer for Ohio. This capacity of serving has given me an opportunity to network with some of the finest individuals who are exceptional leaders and goal-oriented. HOSA has provided me with the necessary tools and guidance to develop my professional skills and demonstrate my technical abilities. While in HOSA, it has allowed me to be involved in the community and give back to those in need. HOSA is determined to prepare students to be the most compassionate, ethical and innovative healthcare professionals they can be. I want to thank you all for allowing me to serve as your vice president and continuously motivating me to become the classic surgeon I inspire to be. And now it is my pleasure to introduce the top three winners in health professions. In Biomedical Laboratory Science Secondary Division, in third place from William Mason Great Oaks, Miha Gunda, in second place, from Great Oaks, West Claremont, Logan Eads. And in first place from William Mason Great Oaks, Shivanshi Tandon. In clinical nursing, in third place from Scarlet Oaks, Madison Brogan. In second place from Scarlet Oaks, Chloe Hopi. And in first place from Archie Drag Career Technical Center, Margaret Todd. In clinical specialty, in third place from Fork County Career Center, Kyla Karzinow. In second place from Jefferson County JVS, KC Brothers. And in first place from William Mason High School, Great Oaks, Lydia Stovall. In dental science. In third place from Trumbull Career and Technical Center, Caitlin Wheeler. In second place from William Mason, Great Oaks, is Niki Chabra. And in first place from Trumbull Career and Technical Center, Wiley Reed. In Home Health Aid. In third place from Kettering Fairmont High School, Matthew Tyron. In second place from Tolls Career and Technical Center, Andrea Velasquez. And in first place from Barberton High School, Joanna Lee Cabin. In Medical Assisting. In third place from RG Drag Career and Technical Center, Madison Long. In second place from Wayne County Schools Career Center, Medical Assisting, Jacoby Hunt. And in first place from Kettering Fairmont High School, Rachel Cope. In Nurse Assisting, from Northwestern High School, third place, Katherine Linder. In second place, from Penta Career Center, Dan Wilson. And in first place, from Barberton High School, Leanne Richardson. In Personal Care, in third place, from Tolls Career and Technical Center, Hania Trevino-Fermaldo. 
In second place from Fort County Career Center, Kyra Knapp. And in first place from Fort County Career Center, Harley Vandesand. Pharmacy Science. In third place from William Mason Great Oaks, Nanika Kapusetti. In second place from William Mason Great Oaks, Eric Kayabayab. And in first place from Harrison High School Senior Great Oaks, Taryn Jackson. Physical Therapy, Secondary Division. In third place, from RG Dreg Career Technical Center, Rebecca Shanklin. In second place, from Harrison High School Senior Great Oaks, Gabrielle Goler. And in first place, from Kettering Fairmont High School, Carly Moyer. In Sports Medicine, Secondary Division, in third place, from Cuyahoga Valley Career Center, Ryan Drewski. In second place from Warren County Career Center, Andrew Wagoner. And in first place from William Mason Great Oaks, Kayessa Shakaburi. Sports Medicine Post-Secondary Division. In second place from The Ohio State University, Sani Aban. And in first place from the University of Cincinnati, Fadil Hussein. In veterinary science secondary division in third place from four county career center alexis resendez in second place from warren county career center olivia ruger and in first place from warren county career center haley erdington in veterinary science post-secondary in second place from the ohio state university lena green and in first place from the ohio state university and Gottinger. In the pilot test event, Clinical Lab for Animal Health. In third place, from Tolls Career and Technical Center, Taylor Mahaffey. In second place, from Tolls Career and Technical Center, Sarah Sands. And in first place, from Tolls Career and Technical Center, Leanne Johnson. Hello, Ohio HOSA members. I hope you are all doing well during these strange times. Today, I would like to talk about my experience as an Ohio HOSA state officer. From the moment I was elected into office, I knew becoming a state officer would be a truly enlightening experience. And I was absolutely right. I had the privilege of collaborating with my brilliant officer team who motivated me to work diligently every single day. In addition, I had the opportunity to not only meet, but work and learn with top medical professionals. For example, this past summer, I attended the Advanced Public Health Summit at Georgetown University, where I made crucial connections and learned a plethora of valuable skills. Becoming a high host state officer has molded me to become the person that I am today and has allowed me to develop my skills in every aspect, which is why I encourage you all to pursue such opportunities. Thank you once again for your continued dedication to HOSA and make sure to continue to stay safe during these times. We will now proceed to announce the Emergency Repair Award winners. Our first event is CERT Skills. In third place, from William Mason Great Oaks, Hirschberger and Schusler. In second place, from SeaTech of Licking County, Selfinger and Smith. And in first place, from SeaTech of Licking County, Grosius and Lehman. In CPR and First Aid. In third place, the team from Jefferson County JVS, Fretko and Schrock. In second place, the team from William Mason Great Oaks, Sumit and Vidwans. And in first place, from William Mason Great Oaks, which is a, this team's name is great for CPR First Aid, team of Ready and Ready. In emergency, medical technician. In third place, from Canton McKinley High School, the team of James and Charles. In second place, from Fort County Career Center, the team of Bennett and Herman. And in first place, from Clay High School, the team of Henry and Ryrick. Epidemiology, the secondary division. In third place, from Eastland Fairfield Career and Technical Schools, Nolan Winger. In second place, from Centerville High School Career Tech, Sarah Syed. And in first place, from William Mason Great Oaks, Bashi Loney. 
in Epidemiology Secondary Division from the University of Cincinnati in first place, Haranya Achaparapu. In Life Support Skills, in third place from Four County Career Center, Victoria Bauer. In second place from Greene County Career Center, Alexandria Lovatis. And in first place from Glen Oak High School, Alexandra Gill. In life-threatening situations, in third place from Maslin Junior High School, Lucas Pedro. In second place from Maslin Junior High School, Marina Reynolds. And in first place from Maslin Junior High School, Stacia Hostetler. In MRC partnership, in third place from Northwestern High School, the team of Paul's House, All's House, DeVore, Haley, and Candle. In second place from Great Oaks West Claremont High School, the team of Bates, Marsh, Mason, and Wesley. And in first place from Olentangy High School, the team of Parnapti, Parasaraman, Sonawami, and Sriman. In Public Health Secondary Division, in third place from Delaware Area Career Center, Cole Muse and Hesner. In second place from Wayne County Schools Career Center, Layman and Morrison. And in first place from Olentangy Berlin High School, Dankahar, Joseph, Lewis, Paluri, and Vadya Nafan. Public Health Post Secondary. In first place from the University of Cincinnati, the team of Hayer, Eitenberg, Joswal, Naidu, Norandurni, Sabramanian. Hello, Ohio HOSA members. My name is Alikia Kondragunta, and I'm your Ohio HOSA Vice President for the 2019-2020 school year. I want to thank you for being dynamic and motivated members this year. I want to thank everyone participating in the leadership events for your hard work. Congratulations to the top three in these events. An extemporaneous health poster. In third place, from Cuyahoga Valley Career Center, Taylor Harlow. In second place, from Pioneer Career Technology Center, Lisa Objenski. And in first place, from Tolls Career and Technical Center, Rihanna Murray. In extemporaneous writing. In third place, from Berea Mid Park High School, Polaris Career Center, Julianne Ivanko. In second place, from Xenia High School, Greene County Career Center, Madeline Holcomb. And in first place, from Archie Drag Career Technical Center, Katherine Yarian. Health Career Photography. The third place winner for, is from Tolls Career and Technical Center, Jonna Puckett. And in second place, from Buckeye Career Center, is Jocelyn Nusky. And in first place from Cuyahoga Valley Career Center is Grace Mitchell. Healthy Lifestyle. In third place from Four County Career Center, Sarah French. In second place from Maslin Washington High School, Paige Villa. And in first place from Great Oaks West Claremont High School, Princess Retis. Interviewing Skills. Third place from Penta Career Center, Christopher Browning. In second place, from Massillon Washington High School, Gavin Samsel. And in first place, from Penta Career Center, Jalen Greer. Job Seeking Skills, Secondary Division. In third place, from Theodore Roosevelt High School, Anisha Chatri Karki. In second place, from Tolls Career and Technical Center, Hallie Parsley. And in first place, from Great Oaks West Claremont High School, Yatra Patel. In Job Seeking Skills, the post-secondary division, from the University of Toledo, in first place, Amarjat Bangu. Prepared Speaking, secondary division. In third place, from Penta Career Center, Audrey Barra. In second place, from Pioneer Career and Tech Center, it's Faith Wallace. And in first place, from Maslin Washington High School, Antoinette Lackey. Prepared speaking for secondary. In third place, from the University of Toledo, Shavari Brahm. In second place, 
from University of Cincinnati, Olu Leoli Adidaji, and in first place from University of Cincinnati, Amisha Sani. Research Persuasive Writing and Speaking, Secondary Division. In third place, from Kettering Fairmont High School, Taylor Wedding. In second place, from William Mason Great Oaks, Audrey Glazer. And in first place, from William Mason Great Oaks, Shishar Anamanani. Research Persuasive Writing and Speaking, Post-Secondary Division, from the University of Cincinnati, our winner is Arhama Ahmed. In Speaking Skills, in third place, from Penta Career Center, Geneva Johnson. In second place, from RG Drag Career Technical Center, Alana Kreider. And in first place, from Penta Career Center, Destinique Conley. Thank you, Alakia, and congratulations to all of the winners in the leadership competitions. My name is Emma Lehman, and it has been an honor to serve as one of your state vice presidents this year. I'm a senior at Miami Valley CTC, and next year I plan on going to Sinclair Community College to major in biology with a focus on genetic counseling. I would like to congratulate all of the members for their hard work this year. And without further ado, let's announce the winners for the teamwork competitions. In biomedical debate, secondary division, Eastland Fairfield to Career Technical Schools. In third place, it's Cannon, Faye, and Idris. In second place, from Dublin Kaufman High School, Athena, Frank, and Son. And in first place, from Center High School Career Tech, it's the team of Campbell, Haley, Neckerman, and Rodney. Biomedical Debate Post-Secondary Division. In second place, the team from University of Cincinnati of Meta, Mukuji, Aiji, and Reddy. And in first place, from the University of Cincinnati, Panchki, Ohana Christian, Yoshi, and Patel. In community awareness, third place from Ohio High Points Career Center in Marysville, the team of Baker, Blaisdell, Heller. In second place, from Olentangy, Berlin High School, Damaria and Markikethi Kian. And in first place, from Olentangy High School, the team of Kim, Matthew, and Vivek. In Creative Problem Solving Secondary. In third place, from Maslin Washington High School, the team of Dingler, Geckler, and House. In second place, from William Mason Great Oaks, Karajagi, Linellet, and Rapin. And in first place, from Centerville High School, Clark, Kersanumurthy, Sethi, and Verma. Creative Problem Solving, Post-Secondary Division. The team from The Ohio State University of Dasaraju, Dase, Ali, and Asan. Forensic Science, Secondary Division. In third place from Eastland Fairfield Career and Technical Schools, Lena Berry and Robbins. In second place from Centerville High School, Dalawal and Tell. And in first place from Kettering Fairmont High School, Hammond and Russell. Forensic Science Post Secondary. The team from University of Cincinnati, Cordia and Kali are first place winners. Health's Career Display Secondary Division. In third place from Columbus Academy, the team of Amarneni and Villa Kenti. In second place, from Penta Career Center, the team of Parton and Ryan. And in first place, from Dublin Jerome High School, the team of Kim and Shurzad. Career display post-secondary. From the University of Cincinnati, the team of Babu and Basha are first place winners. Health Education Secondary Division. In third place from William Mason Great Oaks, the team of Chada and Ja. In second place from Olentangy High School, the team of Devani, Korapati, Sharma, and Shetty. And in first place from Dublin Jerome High School, Akula, Bachu, and Nandigam. 
Health Education Post-Secondary. The team from University of Cincinnati, Hazel, Hoting, and Latchut are first place. Bowl, secondary division. In third place from Sylvania South View High School, the team of Alpashi, Knight, Bath, and Sifker. In second place from SeaTech of Licking County, Baznet, Dahu, Dungle, and Howard. And in first place from Centerville High School, Bay, Chala, and Zong. Bowl, post secondary. Our first place winner is from the University of Cincinnati, the team of Sankara, Ala, Kathula, and Rustadi. Now for medical innovation. In third place from Mahoning Career and Technical Center, the team of Arsenio, Hope, and Kemmer. And then there's a tie for first place. The team from Dublin Jerome High School of Bopana, Jatsingi, and Nandingham. And the team from Olentangy High School, Ergama Reddy, Katha Reddy, Puta, and Sani. Now for parliamentary procedure. From Eastland Fairfield Career Technical Schools. In third place, the team of Bekele, Chow, Copeland, Pegas, Nash, and Sage. In second place, from Tolls Career and Technical Center, the team of Atkins, Blevins, Daskowitz, Mihia, and Parker. And in first place, from Centerville High School, the team of Asibo, Desay, Dangra, Pederetti, Mixel, and Tatsilis, and Zhang. Public Service Announcement, Secondary Division. In third place, from Maslin Washington High School, the team of Almond, Fisk, Riemann, and Rice. In second place, from Pioneer Career and Tech Center, the team of Gonzale, Morales, Hernandez, Perez, and Ramirez. And in first place, from Great Oaks, the team of Fetters, Caracote, Marshall, Miller. In public service announcement post-secondary, the team of University of Cincinnati, Bot, Skula, and Gubin are our first place winners. Hi, future health professionals. My name is Tia Miles, and I'm one of your 2019-2020 state vice presidents. I'm currently a senior at Northwestern High School, and I plan to further my education by attending the University of Michigan to major in biochemistry. With that being said, HOSA has offered me a crazy amount of awesome scholarship opportunities. Through such a life-changing time, we have stayed so dedicated to our cause as an organization. I hope everyone is taking the necessary precautions to stay safe through this pandemic. Our year of student leadership is unfortunately coming to an end. Holding this leadership position has helped me shape into the individual and leader I feel I am today. Through HOSA, I have met so many amazing people and I've had the opportunity to serve with such a dedicated and genuine group of individuals. It is an honor to say that I was part of such a great state officer team. As the new state officer team is elected, the current officers are confident the newly elected will do amazing things for Ohio HOSA. This is not a goodbye, but a salute to my fellow state officers. I will now like to introduce details regarding HOSA happenings and the HOSA Gold chapters.
I would like to welcome HOSA's very own Jake Kelly. Jake is studying biology at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, and has served as Tennessee HOSA's president-elect from 2017 to 2018, Tennessee HOSA's president from 2018 to 2019, and currently is serving as the National Executive Council's president-elect. Welcome to Ohio's Virtual State Leadership Conference, Jake. Hello, Ohio HOSA. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy during this time and showing your friends and family what it means to be a true future health professional. I wanted to take a few moments to congratulate you all on an outstanding year. Now, I know this year may not have turned out how you originally envisioned it, but you should still be proud of what each and every one of you have accomplished. You overcame the challenges of a pandemic and still gave your all for HOSA. With your resilience, determination, and love for HOSA, you all have contributed to Ohio HOSA's largest membership year yet. That's something to be proud of. And with a large portion of that membership being represented at the Ohio HOSA Virtual SLC, I am overjoyed at the successes that you all have had. Congratulations to all competitors, and a special congratulations to those competitors who qualified for the ILC. Speaking of which, I would like to be the first to invite you to HOSA's first ever Virtual International Leadership Conference. While we may not be together in Houston in June, we still have the incredible opportunity to be together with our HOSA family virtually. I know I speak for the rest of the Executive Council when I say we can't wait to see you all participate in the International Leadership Conference. I am so very proud of each and every one of you. My favorite thing about HOSA is getting to see your successes, and you all have succeeded exponentially during this conference. During this pandemic, I encourage you to keep upholding HOSA's core values of learning, leading, serving, and innovating. While our year, our country, and our world look a little different than we're used to, I find peace knowing that the future of healthcare lies in the hands of the dedicated and passionate members of Ohio HOSA. I hope you have all enjoyed the 2020 Ohio HOSA SLC and are looking forward to the 2020 Virtual ILC. And now, leading Ohio HOSA towards tomorrow, let's meet your 2020-2021 State Officer Team.